Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Mushroom bringing you guys another video. I don't know how the audio is going to be in this video, but I just want to warn you guys now. We're taking the KTM RC390 on the highway. A lot of people, uh, th this is a very small beginner bike, so a lot of people are always curious, like, yo, how do you, uh, is it good for the highway? Can, is it only good for, like, cities and stuff like that? So... I basically take this bike to work every single day. So every single day I go to work, I take this bike, even on days like today where it's 30 something degrees out and it's freezing. I'm layered up, as you can see, I have uh, kind of like snow gloves, like really, really thick snow gloves. So it's kind of harder to ride this in the winter just because of the fact that um, it's just, it, you don't feel as much because these gloves are so thick. You're also wearing like multiple layers, so it's harder to like bend and move and look side to side, look over your shoulder and stuff. But nobody really cares about, can you ride it as a person in the winter? People are on this video because they want to know, is the KTM RC390 capable of being a commuter bike? Can you take it to work every single day? So I'm gonna just break it down to you guys. Basically, I work, about 40 minutes away with no traffic um but with traffic it's it's probably like honestly like an hour and 30 minute drive sometimes longer sometimes less so it really just depends on the day but um yeah i'm a, I'm a pretty far commute to get to work so this bike actually comes in clutch a lot of the time because it actually i can get in the hov which is like the express lane without having to pay or anything like that i don't have to do anything i just get on it because i'm on the motorcycle um, here in Virginia, you're allowed to do it for free, so so it's very clutch for me. But I hope the audio is working. I hope I'm not recording this whole video for nothing, you know, because that would not be fun. Traffic in the morning, morning rides aren't really the best in the world. It just sucks having to hit a little bit of traffic right here before we even get to the highway. The only part that sucks about this commute is the red lights and stuff. Um, but yeah, basically, I I'm not going to start telling you guys about the highway yet until we get on the highway. Because there's no point in talking. I'm just scared that the wind is going to be extra loud on the highway. So in my mic, you're not going to really hear my voice. You're just going to hear you're just going to hear the wind the whole time. So that's one thing that I'm worried about. I hope the wind's not too bad right now. I could close it all the way, but I feel like I sound really muffled, like we're in a we're in like a room or something like that. It's just weird talking to yourself with the visor down and stuff because you, it's I don't know. You can hear yourself talk. It's kind of just a little awkward and weird. Plus, you're riding a bike, so just to be talking to yourself while riding a bike, it just you really do talk to yourself like this. It's kind of weird. I'm not used to it. It's something I'm trying to get used to. I mean, I've done it on dirt bikes, but that's not as bad um, as like a street bike because a dirt bike, you're having fun. You're out there bouncing and stuff on this. I kind of like take a little bit more serious that rather than when I'm riding my normal bike because this is a lot more dangerous and other cars are involved with this. But but yeah, so my commute is about 40 minutes. It's pretty far. Um, so it's not like... I have a short highway commute. I've seen a lot of other videos on YouTube with the KTM RC390 going on the highway, but they don't take it on the highway for too long. So they're just on it for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So I'm going to be on the highway for about 30 to 40 minutes. So this is going to be a good video. Now I'm not going to show you the whole part. I'm just going to talk to you about my experience taking this bike to work every single day for like three months and stuff like that and tell you my opinion, if it's worth it if you can do it and stuff like that. But yeah, we're gonna stop the video like probably like five to 10 minutes onto the highway. It's not gonna be that long on the highway. Um, just because I, I usually am not the type of person to make a 30, 40 minute video of just talking because those can kind of get boring. I kind of want to get to the point and that's what a lot of you came here for. So I'm gonna cut back on to the video. I'm gonna cut it for now until we get to the highway and then we'll still talking about my experience with this bike on the highway all right guys about to be on the highway um so basically yeah the highway speeds out here are about 55 i believe which is not fast at all but then in the hov it's 65 so i definitely think this bike is more than capable of hitting highway speeds 
the only thing is is everyone on the highway doesn't go highway speeds nobody's going 55 65 everyone's going usually about 65 to 75 so a lot of people are going a lot faster now when you first get this bike on um, the first like 600 few miles is breaking so you're gonna have to break into the bike which means you can't go over 7.5 rpms which you'll see a red line it'll actually red line now even though i have like 3700 miles on this bike I'll, I'll, I'll let it red line so you can see where the the little red shift light pops up now when you have it in break-in mode which is the first 600 miles it, it the light lights up in every gear so even six gear lights up but i noticed that after the 600 miles and i did the first maintenance on it and in six gear the shift light never popped on so it still does it in first second third fourth fifth which is not six gear and i'll show you guys what it looks like here in a second once uh we get a little bit more speed and get on the actual HLP. so as you can see this is an express lane that's the normal highway and look at how much traffic there is over there it's starting to pick up right now um this is a little bit better not even a little bit this is a lot better so here's where the wind starts coming in hopefully you guys can't hear it um but i do want to i do want to get this bike to red line real quick it's not even a red line it's just a shift light to remind you to shift i think red line is at like 10 10k on this not 7.5 um, but it's just like a warning light just to like remind you to shift so as you can see ready you'll see it light up you see it lighting up that's to let you know to shift but you can go faster than that um but yeah right now we're going 68 67 miles per hour in six gear um but you so this is basically the correct miles per hour we should be going on the highway but as you can see those cars are passing us but honestly this bike is okay to pick up speed like we can stay at 80 miles per hour pretty much the whole way down this highway for 40 something minutes which is which is really good i mean i usually stay around high 70s to like lower 80s for so 75 to 85 i usually stay in that range depending on how fast traffic is going and also how, how my bike's doing i don't like to rev it up like when i'm going 70 or 80 miles per hour right now i'm not going to sit there and gun it to go to 90 just because it's already sitting at a high rpm at a steady high rpm which is at 7.5 uh and it sits at 7.5 to 8 basically the whole entire trip which is about 40 minutes and so far i have not had any difficulties with this bike this bike has done the job exactly how i wanted it uh the top speed on this bike is i believe 120 miles per hour but i've taken it i think 101 maybe maybe 102 oh god so i've taken it about 101 102 or something like that which is not too bad um but yeah this bike it, it's got plenty enough power to take it on the highway now extensive long drives like out of the state like state to state drive i'm not too sure about that the furthest i've gone on this was like an hour and a half away um and even then it was just uncomfortable i was not enjoying the ride uh just because like the sports like angle of it like leaning forward the seat's not so cushioned it's not like a harley davidson or anything like that where you can actually be comfortable for long rides it's a sports bike so you're leaning forward you're kind of hunched over uh and it's just it doesn't have enough gas so first of all your wrist is kind of bent the whole time because you're using as much of the bike's power as you can um so it's not going to take over long trips again i'm glad that i'm only 40 about 40 minutes away from home so that way i'm not revving it up too much and like beating the bike up too much now i know i feel like this isn't good for the bike every single day um just because you're keeping it at a higher rpm for 30 40 minutes but this is all i do though. i only ride it to work and ride at home i don't ride it afterwards i'm not putting extra work into it it basically does its job of getting me to work back home without having to sit in traffic or anything like that but yeah as you can see cars like that go faster sometimes i go a little bit faster i won't usually go faster than like right now i'm going about 83 i won't go usually faster than 85 i like to kind of just hang out with the other cars not go too fast uh depending on how late i am for work it just depends but yeah i'm never usually in the 90s for the whole trip 
for the whole trip I'm not usually in the 90s or anything like that. Uh, I'll just be in like the higher 80s of anything. But yeah, this bike, this bike does the job, man. I mean, you can't go wrong with the KTM RC390. I mean, for the price you're getting it at, uh, it's very, very cheap for a motorcycle. It's a good beginner bike to learn how to ride. If you're on the highway and you're taking this to work, don't constantly be going 90 to 60, 90 to 60. Just stay at a steady pace. Like, if you're using this as a commuter bike, shit, I, my best suggestion is to go to speed limit. Go 65 miles per hour the whole way to work. Just because, one, you're not really dogging the bike too much. You're not putting that much pressure on the bike. Now, I usually just go 78 or something like that to keep up with traffic. Um, but I am also putting more stress on my bike. So I'm going to have to get like new tires. I'm going to have to change the oil sooner and all that other stuff. As long as I keep up with mains on this bike, then I should be good. Which I'm coming up on another main pretty soon. I think it's at 45, which I'm at 37 right now. Uh, but when it starts getting a little colder out, I'm going to put this baby in the garage for the winter and do all the things that I need to do to it, maybe change the tires. Um, but for now, I, I just, I love taking this to work because one, I get an HOV a lot faster. I don't sit in traffic at all, so I get home quicker, I get to work quicker, which means I get to sleep in quicker, or I get to sleep more. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys please can give this video a thumbs up. This is my first KTM motorcycle video I have up on the channel. We usually do dirt bikes, but I decided, you know what, it's getting cold. I take this bike to work every day. Why not start getting into the moto vlogging rather than like the dirt bike moto vlog side of it. But yeah, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you please can give this video a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Welcome to the moto vlog side where I actually use the KTM for the channel. Now, I've, I've had this bike for a while, you guys know that, but I just started making a video on it just now because I don't know. I don't know why it took so long, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.